Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new mini sode of Tell Me Something Cool. My name is Ryan Razbian and I'm coming to you today from my bedroom with a video review of the awesome gift my sister got for me for Christmas. You know me, I'm pretty impulsive so I did open it and I didn't have, want her to wait till the 25th. And I came to you with the first ever review from Tell Me Something Cool. And as you can see it, it's right here. We'll be moving the camera in a second to a perfect angle. So I can perfectly show you guys what's inside this amazing box of the Dark Knight Trilogy Ultimate Collector's Edition. Thank you very much, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, hello everyone. We've moved the camera angle. As you can see, it's, we're pretty set up to start reviewing this thing. And yes, if you're wondering, am I in my pajamas? I am definitely in my pajamas. Because it's the first day of the winter break, and my first semester of computer engineering college is over. Yeah, freedom. Alright, let's get down to it. First off, when you remove the plastic, you're going to have a little paper foldable in the back of here, which displays what's inside the box to a certain degree. It doesn't do it much justice, to be honest, because when you open it, it wows you. This is from the back. The inside is all white. This is just a sticker that was on the plastic that tells you what's inside very briefly, to a very brief degree. And it's all white, everything else. On the bottom, it says the Dark Knight Trilogy. And on this side as well is like the little what inside the movies, who played the movies, the general stuff you see on movie posters. Alright. When you get down to the nitty gritty of the box, the first thing you notice on the box is the box's design. Very nice Dark Knight logo with the limited edition number, which I was luckily surprised to get an actual whole number. 37,000, excuse me, 35,700, which wowed me to be honest. And it's a little holographic. I'm not sure if it's noticeable through the camera. Alright. First, when you open the box, you get, in not the exact order, because I moved it around a little bit when I was going through it, the first thing you get is the disc booklet, which can, starts off with the Batman Begins logo, right here, as you can see. And it contains six discs, the Batman Begins DVD, Blu-ray, actually, excuse me. The Dark Knight Blu-ray disc with the bonus features disc featuring the Joker. The Dark Knight Rises featuring the Blu-ray and the bonus features disc, which I have yet to see. And a little Bane art right here. And another bonus feature disc featuring the Dark Knight himself on the Bat Cycle or Bat Pod. And the final picture is Bane Batman face off, which is pretty awesome. And the back is just a brevity of all the movie, all three of the movies. Next off, what was in the box was the Dark Knight booklet. Now I'll take photos of these because going through every single picture will take a very, very long time. Because the book I believe is around 50, 50 pages if I'm not exact. So I'm going to show you my very favorite picture. Very favorite. This favorite picture in the book is this right here. Because you guys know, or at least I hope you know, Batman is a comic book character. And it looks like when they were making this script, it was a little comical. And right here, on the other side of the page, shows a little clay animation, not animation, sculpting of how they made the Tumblr. No, not the Tumblr you guys use on the internet. So yes, this is photographic paper very smooth nice you see I'm the guy of simple tastes I enjoy dynamite and gunpowder and gasoline that's what you have there next off well the very first thing you see when you open the box is a letter from Christopher Nolan which I will scan and post on the tell me something cool page for you guys to be able to read to a certain degree Unless you want to pause it here for a second and read it on your own. But I will definitely take a picture of this and scan it on. It's a letter, a message from Christopher Nolan, Nolan in letter form. It also comes with a little paper right here to get all three of the movies on ultraviolet DVD. Or whatever. That will have a video of its own later. Then it comes with the Mondo the five Mondo posters, which are frameable. But every, anything's frameable. We have Rachel Ghoul, May of Fear, 
Men fear most what they cannot see. Scarecrow. There is nothing to fear but fear himself. Two-Face. See yourself become the villain. The Joker. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Thought that runs through my head every time I'm taking a calculus test. And Bane. Sometimes the pit throws something back. Now I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for a sixth one with the Dark Knight himself. Which would have been pretty awesome. Right now you're wondering what you're staring at. I'm going to show you guys the envelope. While all these Mondo picks were inside. Which was mind-blowingly cool. Right here. It's like a little dark edge sketch. Of the Dark Knight book. Uh, where The Dark Knight logo. Which is pretty amazing to be honest. It was mind-blowingly cool. I've been wondering what's behind the white paper and on the back of the box more white paper on the sides more dark spots something extremely cool which I will never ever 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 open so you remove the paper you remove these two foam boards you have a witnessable Tumbler, the bat, and the bat cycle. All three of them in Hot Wheels type toys, cars. Well, to be honest, like, when I touch it from the outside, it's very, like, hard. It's not even plat to a certain degree. It could be considered metal. I'm not sure because I'm never, oh, ever, 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 I hope you guys noticed, ever opening this thing. It's just on black sheet of paper, ages eight and up, made in China. So yeah, that's, I'm not sure what angle I will be in if I come back to you guys in one second. And you, as you guys can see, that was a nice video review, I hope. It was the very first time, so it was the first run through, one shot, one take, got it done. This thing's pretty awesome. I'd like to thank my sister on camera again for this. Very awesome gift. And I, she purchased this from Costco currently. The original price is $79.99. It's come down to $54.99 if you can get your hands on it this holiday season before they run out. And I would highly recommend this for any crazy Dark Knight fan as myself. But if you're like, you just like the movies and you don't want to spend too much money, I'd recommend going out and buying the DVD trilogy version of it or the regular Blu-ray tr trilogy version of it, which I believe is like 30 bucks now if you go to Best Buy or something, 30 to 40 bucks, maybe less if you get it on DVD. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I also have some comic book news, which I'll be doing another video later on sometime this week on comic books and I am playing Batman Dark Knight uh, Batman Dark Knight or Batman Arkham Origins on PC and I'm playing Borderlands 2 just started thanks to Steven and yeah once the holiday season's back hopefully be able to meet up with Andrew shoot an episode with him holiday season's over we'll be back at it with Steven speaking of right back at it again right back at it again after the holiday season. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Mindy Soto. Tell me something cool. My name is Ron Rosbiani. Comic Kid. And have a great holiday season. Bye-bye.